you've just created a cargo release. Now it's time to add income and expense charges. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. This video shows you how to add charges to your cargo release and create an invoice. You can go to your document or list view to get started. We will show this process in the document view. Click the edit button in your cargo release. Select the charges tab. Note, charges can be automated to appear in transactions. This ensures the charges you want are always included in the transaction. See our introduction to automated accounting article in the knowledge base for more on automating charges. Automated charges and charges you add to your cargo release manually will display here. To create a new charge, click the Add button. You can select Income Charge or Income Freight Charge to bill your customer. Or select Expense Charge or Expense Freight Charge for charges you have incurred from your vendor. For this example, we will click the Expense Freight Charge option. Clicking a Charge option will open a Charge dialog box. The dialog box will vary based on whether you selected a freight charge or a charge not related to freight. Freight charges are calculated from mode of transportation, cargo, and distance from delivery to destination. Examples of charges that aren't related to freight include handling and documentation fees. Since we selected expense freight charge, let's cover the fields in that dialog box. Select the freight service class in this field. The freight service class field will pull the type of freight from the items and services list in your accounting folder. You can also add a new charge option to your list by clicking the plus sign in the bottom toolbar of the list. The description field is used to enter charge descriptions. This field is optional. Select who to apply the freight charge to, such as carrier or vendor. Remember, expense charges and expense freight charges are what you pay your vendor. In contrast, if you need to add a charge to your customer's invoice, select the income charge or income freight charge options. To customize the rates, click the Rates button. A dialog box will open for your carrier. You can add, edit, or delete data here, then click OK to save your rates and return to the charge dialog box. When you change the way the charge is applied, such as by weight or pieces, the totals across the bottom will change. These yellow shaded fields will be multiplied automatically to calculate the total. Select if the charge is prepaid or collect here. Prepaid is used to note that the change will be paid or invoiced at origin. Collect charges are paid at destination. To allow changes made to the charge to be calculated automatically, leave the Allow Automatic Updates option enabled. The show in documents will make the charge visible on your cargo release. If you don't want your customers to see the charge on the transaction's document, uncheck this option. Click OK to save the charge. You can now see the charge you made in your list of charges in the Charges tab of the cargo release. A financial snapshot of the transaction is located at the bottom of the window. You can edit or delete any charge on your list. You can even add more charges if you need to. It's important to carefully review your charges before adding them to an invoice. Did I mention that you can generate an invoice for your charges right from your cargo release? Here's how. To generate an invoice for your cargo release, click the Generate button. A window will open displaying the transactions created. Review and click OK. Then confirm by clicking Yes. Close the cargo release window. To access the invoice, go to Accounting and click Invoice List. Right-click the invoice and select Go to Document. At this point, you can email, print, and receive payments on the invoice all from your Magaya system. See our other videos and the Getting Started article in the Knowledge Base for everything you need to work with cargo releases. Thanks for watching.